I urge the Attorney General to put in greater efforts to ensure, one, that the persons directly responsible for the assault on Anwar Ibrahim, including Tan Sri Rahim Noor, the Inspector General of Police, should uphold the sovereignty of the law and tell the truth. That, two, Dr. Mahathir Mohamed, the Minister, as home, uh, Minister of Home Affairs, who has followed developments on 20th September 1998 closely, should admit about the assault and should also be held responsible. He also ought to apologise for the allegation that he made against Anwar that the injury maybe could have been self-inflicted. Three, that the said incident ought to be a lesson to the Minister of Home Affairs and the police, especially the most senior police officers, not to beat up, torture and threaten innocent people. Until now, we are still receiving reports that the special branch has threatened the activists who support Adil and the reformacy movement. Criminal aspects of the action will be in police hands, it's not in our hands. But of course we have to uh, discuss our clients the potential for civil action. That is a separate matter which our client has power to do. And so he can actually take that to he, the he civil has the, lawsuit? Yeah, if he feels that is a case, he has the right to do so. But without the report, it's a bit difficult at this stage. Bagi laluan, bagi laluan. Bagi laluan. Bagi laluan. 